All right, people, we have arrived at the eighth week of the fourth season of the Battle of Draft League. And this time, we are going up against RK Niner, Toads of the West Texas Arcanines. They've got a pretty powerful team over here, a uh, fellow Latias user in draft, but they've also got uh, Terra Water and Teleon that can fire off some powerful hits, as well as the likes of Dawn Fan, one of the best spinners in the game, another Levitator in Electros, a former Levitator in Gengar, as well as Entei. They even have Pokemon like Weavile that can uh, apply a lot of offensive pressure. So this time around, I'm going to be bring uh once again mixed greninja this time with upper hand to catch that weave all off guard and also that entei uh with e-speed uh we got a shadow sneak there for the gengar and also a potential scarf latios or setup latios uh dark pulse just to hit hard in general um into like the latios as well as grass knot which is there for both dawn fan and also for that pesky pesky uh inteleon hit both of them now that does mean i can't really hit entei as well with this thing but um i'm probably gonna get e speed by it anyways so after that we have metagross who is gonna be av with clear body ice punch bullet punch knockoff earthquake uh knockoff things like the latios ice punch the pesky dawn fan with an assault vest we can pretty much tank anything latios wants to throw at us um i have eq on there for um Kind of for the Electros, but we'll see why. I've got a little tech for it later and bullet punch just for priority. All right, so my Nihilip set this week is going to be Scarf once again. This time with Inner Focus, though, just because I don't think Defiant really does anything. Battle Sphere doesn't really do anything. Inner Focus is the only thing where it's like, well, if they flinch me or something, huh? If, if they're somehow faster than me, like can Scarf and Teleon goes for Dark Pulse into me and tries to flinch me for some reason. Or, I don't know, Rock Slide or something off of something crazy. If something tries to flinch me, they're not going to. Um, but basically, no matter what I pick, it's basically not going to have an ability. Um, but the biggest thing is the Drain Punch I want it for the bulky Pokemon, like the Entei, um, that are not going to die to close combat anyways, as well as Ice Punch there for Superior. And once again, we're running a lot of HP investment. We're just running just enough to outspeed uh, non-Scarf and Teleon, and then Adamant Nature just to make it as hard as possible. And after that, we have Lycanroc, Midday, who is going to pack Life Orb, with Crunch, Accelerox, Sword Stance, Close Combat, and just run Max Attack at the Max Speed Jolly. Then we've got Cryogonal, who's going to be Boots, and we are going to have a Rapid Spin, Freeze, Dry, Ice Beam, and Recover. And uh, just all around, just going to try to Rapid Spin things away. Alright, so I got a very similar team to last week, and I just... And we're running the same power point, but we're running Terra Blast Water just to be able to hit things like the uh, the Dawn Fan just a little bit better, a little bit stronger. Um, but at the same time, also be able to hit the Entei as well. I don't have to worry about the Sun anymore. And uh, Recover just to be able to give me a little bit more longevity. And we got Sandy Shocks, it's going to be Sash. And here's the Gravity Tech I was mentioning earlier, uh, all the way our Thunderbolt over Power Gym. And um, Gravity just there to be able to do something to Latias because I've played before against the Sandy Shocks with Latias and Latias just completely invalidates it. So let's say they lead Electros, they lead Latias, this isn't going to allow me to hit him. It can also allow me to hit him with Earthquake as well. So just another little tech in there. Um, that's the team. We'll see you guys in the battle. All right, people, we are here for week eight the fourth season of the Battle of Draft League, and we have found our opponent in RK Niner. Uh, I've got my stuff in the damage calc. I, re I reset in a new tab. Okay. All right. Pretty much exactly what I was expecting. Uh, except no eel. So that's great. Um, I packed gravity for that thing on Pineapple Man. Um, so we got Latias. It could still work versus Latias. Um, Gengar, Bebile, Dawn Fan, Entei, and Inteleon. Now listen, I don't want to be a Debbie Downer here, but I really feel like, <laughs> I, I feel like my team just doesn't have the longevity um, to be able to win in this match, but we'll see, we'll see. These rocks could help me versus Zente and this uh, Weavile. 
of course, he deals with Dawn Fan. I've been back in my brain figuring out if it's if it's better to switch into the Annihilate on the knockoff and guarantee keep him up, or if it's better to let them potentially get spun, knowing that I would switch into Annihilate every single time. Because I feel like my choice scarf could really come through in this game. Although they're probably scarf Gengar, but you know, I've got Shadows taking priority for all that. I just don't know. I really feel like what's going to happen is he's going to beat me. I'm probably going to lose Al, and he's probably going to take my spot in playoffs. But hey, I'd be happy for him if that happened. So, this is an interesting lead matchup here. I'm really surprised at all of this. They're the high lead ape. But I feel like they're Scarf, and if we can find out that they're not Scarf, and that could really set us up for an endgame with uh, Annihilate here. I'm gonna just go for my rocks. I don't feel like they stay in here. Knowing that I could probably sash and earth so they have energy ball, okay, that's fair. So I'm gonna get my rocks up. Then I'm gonna go Metagross and find out whether or not they are Scarf. This might be an obvious play, but I need to figure it out now. Because if I find out that they're not, that's excellent for an island. We need to keep that Scarf on at all costs. On our ape. Because then we outspeed everything on their team. The only thing is getting it boosted. Yeah, that looks like a scarf to me, because now they're probably going to go out the Dawn Fan. That's fair. Not boots. That's great. So the story's broken. Are they lefties? Not lefties either. What are they? Okay, it could be helmet. How much do I need palladium? I could use for Latias. Could be a choke, but I think I'm gonna save Palladium and go Kuz on here. I'm expecting a knockoff, maybe an earthquake, maybe some rocks. I just feel like I want to keep my scarf on, even though I mean the Gengar is probably scarf. But if I can get rid of the Gengar, I see they just go for rocks themselves. Just throw off a little freeze dry, I think. Because I want to save my Terra just in case. I feel like they're probably helmet. The sturdy being broken is incredible though. That means Greninja just kills us. Usually the Don fan always keeps the sturdy intact when I battle it. There are boots. It's the best course of action here. I kind of want to get rid of these rock. That's my whole purpose, so. Do I need to uh, do this though to do that? It's not gonna make much of a difference. I probably have one hit. I'm gonna wrap it spin. Oh wait, they can blow sweet on though. Knock off a cat bigger. I have some HP investment, so I should live that. Let's put the chip off on it.
Maybe I can recover now. I just feel like the Terra Rock Accelerator could come through for me. See, look, there we go. Am I getting more back? I feel like I am. Although, I'd probably win this one if you want still. Why does Terra Blast Water do that little? I feel like I have to. Let's just get some big chip off on this thing. If we can get rid of this, that'd be incredible for Greninja. This SD Weavile is scaring me. Well, this is going to do so little. But maybe by some miracle we live. Although... I must do a take with Ice Shard. I can activate my thing. Anton and the Rhyme Scarf now, but whatever. Get a, I can get a Rage Boost activation. Rage Fist. Yeah, I should have run Flash Cannon. Then withdraw. I don't want to activate my Rage Fist. That's fine though, because we just keep this thing at full now. They're going to give me some Rocky Helmet, which I can confirm that it's Rocky Helmet here. Yep. Does Earth Power kill this thing from there? I'm gonna just fire off a grass knot, see what happens. Oh, we're gonna catch them on the Inteleon. Let's go, let's wipe that grass knot for this thing. You're gonna die, buddy. I'm sorry, but you're gonna die. Ah, let's go. Check out my grass knot, the protein, baby. 2%. Goodbye, Inteleon. Ah, <laughs> get out of my sight, buddy. That's massive. That's one big threat that I was really scared of. See, because I wanted to hit both of those.
Now, if they go Entei, we could have a problem. But I'm hoping, you know, the rocks will take effect. So is this thing choice? Are they trying to get an agility off? Can they even come it with anything? Scarf Draco Meteor? I mean, I have Metagross for this reason. I'm a full- Because I, I just used Latios and draft myself, so... T-Way! Oof, that sucks. Okay, but that's not honestly... This thing being paralyzed is much better than Greninja. So I, that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. And the knockoff. Yeah, I figured this thing was coming in. Get the knockoff off. No more Rocky Helmet. We might have to live with rocks being up. I just want to keep Metagross healthy for Latios. Yep, there's the rocks. I assume they just go Latios every time. So I kind of want to go right back out into Metagross. Is that an overprediction? If they go into Latios, I can just go right back out. I'm gonna do it. I might be over predicting here, but I just don't want to get. I need to stay ahead here. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. There we go. Punch here. Reflect. Oh crap, I don't have psychic fangs. I should have thought about that. Really should have thought about that. Port Latias. With T Wave. Reflect. Go out into. Uh... Oh, I gotta freeze! I'm sorry, buddy. The hacks just keeps on coming. That was a really crucial freeze for them. I'm sorry. I was going for the super if I did. Oh! Little Emerald strikes at the worst possible moment. I'm sorry, buddy. Ugh. KO by Metagross. Dang, so the rocks are up for good, which is great for me. That's very unfortunate for them. Although we still have to deal with a Scarf Gengar, and I don't know how we're going to do that. I guess priority. I don't know what this thing can do to me. I'm knock it off. I'm, wasting out. I'm trying to waste these turns. You have light screens, so they're just full on support. 
Nice, they have a berry. Nice, they were Polber. I'm gonna just keep knocking off whatever wants to come in. They were Cobra for Dark Pulse, it's a good thing I didn't go for it. I know it probably wouldn't kill anyways. Okay, can we knock out this thing's choice, man? It's Boots. But the Reflect wears off, that's excellent. Do I still need this thing? It's a nice priority. I'll sack off Pineapple Man here. I have to keep in mind that rocks are still in play. I wonder if I should SD. What moves does Ente have? Damn. They have a lot. I probably should have gone out for this thing. I didn't realize that. Ground type moves. I just need chip on it, man. Maybe they switch out in fear of me. I probably should have SD. I can't guarantee chip on it. I'm to bring all the boots versus me. this thing off. KO by Man, if I SD'd there, I look like a legend. There goes the light screen too. So no more has no more reflects, no more screens. None of that jazz. I'm really going for annihilate banking here. The good thing is we have more sacks. We're just gonna buy just a little bit. Even if one of them is paralyzed. I'm trying to think I really should just put Rock Slide on this thing for Inte. How much would that have done? Nine This should get it in range of Shadow Sneak. Oh yeah. 
four jerseys. Beat that Entei? I don't think I can. Oh, maybe an Annihilate Pain. How much do I take for this? Can I just attack? Dark type. Yeah. All right, watch this tech. Wait, is Shadow Sneak kill? I should live on Ice Shore. So I could upper hand me though. I should went for upper hand. They're definitely going for upper hand if it happened. SD. Nope. I wanted to go for upper hand, but I didn't want to risk it. I could have gone for it though, but this was a safe play. back though. Are they just e-speed me here? Oh, that's why I have upper hand. I need ship. Alright, we're gonna start this mind game here. something else. This is tough. I'm pretty sure I still lose. Well, it depends on what they got. Maybe I should have saved this and went into it. Inner focus, duh. I forgot. Well, at least I got the ship damage though. And I was inner focus on this thing too. Sir. Oh, although they could just go out and do the thing. I should have rage fisted. Okay, nice and big chip. I 
And I'll go out into this on the uh, Gengar switch now that they know that I'm Scarf. It really comes down to this. I think I have to. I think I might lose either way though. I'm pretty sure they got me. Like I said, this was a rough matchup for me. <laughs> I just don't have enough walls. Oh, they got me. Ooh, I survived. Not like it matters. I should have just stayed in. And then gone out into this. GG's RK Niner. That darn. Unless for some reason the Gengar. I'm pretty sure. I'm almost certain it's Scarf though. At least will it just be a 1-0. Hey, oh, bye. Ente. Okay, yeah. Wait. Okay, oh, bye. Eight. Alright, GG's friend. Here we go. The Scarf Gengar came to- Maybe I missed. I probably overthought it a little bit. But you know what? It is what it is. Maybe I should have had close combat on my guy. But then I would have taken too much damage. That's gonna be GG's though. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'm sure that Captain Beatar and Scorpion will tell me, You should have made this play! <laughs> I don't know. It was a rough end game there. It was all about what they were gonna do, what I was gonna do. But they outplayed me there. So that's gonna be GG's. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.